right, we're checking out the only game where the only way to deal with extraterrestrial life is to murder it. It's find the alien. Two seconds into the game and my wife is hanging out with bald Obi-Wan Kenobi. What happened here? He's like, you understand, I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi, but after chemo. I'm chemo one Kenobi. Kind of like One Punch Man. See, my hair fell out and now I'm stronger. Now, if you take your little special tool here. Wow, my, my wife, or I don't know who this is, but she looks absolutely demonic. Like her very skeleton is the skeleton of a demon. <laughs> Happy, angry, happy, murderous. <laughs> Meanwhile, Obi Wan Punch Man over here has a gigantic alien head concealed somehow in his totally spherical melon. His eyes are the size of baked potatoes, and yet somehow they fit perfectly well in there. I love how he doesn't have a skeleton or anything, it's just like an entire spacesuit. So it gives me a weapon. I don't actually know what this does to the alien. Tap to zap the aliens. My first question is can I zap the. The woman, like, oh my god, you absolutely can! <laughs> Sorry, girl who looks like Penny from Inspector Gadget. I'll actually kill the right person this time. Was she screaming or was she was she happy that I just murdered that being in front of her? I love that the only thing you get as a reward for murdering people is different tools to murder people with. All right, the first thing I noticed about this issue is there's a pizza just chilling out and no one is touching it. Yep, alien. I knew it. In fact, you're pretty far away from the, the pizza, too. Oh, you're a human. You're just a terrible human. Aww. I'm starting to notice a pattern that every alien is simply bald. Are you gonna break this trend on me? Yep. I actually understand why all the aliens have big feet. It's because they're shoving their entire shoes inside of the torn off skin of a human. Ooh. All right, I've got one tool in my toolbox. It's a murder stick. You're not even gonna, oh, I don't actually remember which one it is. It's always the bald guy, right? Yeah, there's like a 99% chance it's the bald guy. He's like, it is me. I can feel the death coming. Look at my sad face. Ah! The way the woman just runs at you when he dies is magical. Also, it is kind of weird that I'm literally killing aliens with what looks to me like alien technology. Like it's either a ray gun or like a clown horn. All right, we got a real problem here because aliens love wearing Jedi robes. Did you just give that alien the finger? Also, can anyone tell me why there's like a tiny miniature version of the Santa Maria chilling out inside of the bathtub? All right, what happens if I tap them both really fast? Like, can I kill both? Like, one, two? Nope. Ah, oh, man. These guns only have one shot. Is this like one single house that I'm murdering all the aliens in? What did I stumble upon? Also, is it just me? Or is this girl like way bigger than everyone else? I love how they're all just staring into the distance. Like, there's nothing here. There's no TV here or anything. There's not even a poster. There's not even a window. They're just staring at the wall. They're like, we see humans do this all the time. <laughs> just stare into the distance and appear natural. Every face on every person on this bed is inappropriate. He has the kitten face, inappropriate. She has the creepy grin, inappropriate. And for some reason, she's the size of the jelly green giant. I don't know why she's so big. All right, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna shoot you right in the toe so that she could she could feel the, the, the powder, like the ashes from your body strike her. Oh, wow, I thought you were the alien. I totally hit the wrong one, but it was technically the right one. Can you like, can you like double check after you kill someone? Oh, you totally can. I'd like to take a moment to mention this guy was so scared, he melded his hand into his own skull. The problem with an alien who's bent over is they can't straighten back up because their eyes weigh like seven pounds each. I'm not gonna lie, that alien had a look of total betrayal after I killed them. FBI, open up. Bro, oh, it's actually the opposite. Like, I'm not opening up to the FBI. The FBI is opening up to me. Oh, bye. What was that? What? How many people are there? I don't get it. Like, do they just keep rotating? <laughs> All right, so we got the two cops. Okay, so I have to... Nope. <sighs> I'm pretty sure it was the dad. See? I had a one in three chance. The sad part is, is that he was probably like pretending to be that child's dad for the last like eight years. So he knows nothing else. All right, the cop that's not talking. Seriously, you're just gonna leave your buddy frying on the ground? All right, who's left? What are you? Are you trying to sell me something? Oh, the king alien. <laughs> I love how the final alien just looks like Dr. Strange. He's got the cape and the... <laughs> and the crown and everything. Oh, he's still alive. He needs a second shot! Pitiful human, you cannot stop the invasion. Uh, I've killed like 30 of your people so far. I'll be back. I mean, how are you gonna- Oh, you're gonna teleport away.
Oh, you didn't really teleport. You just kind of walked very quickly past my hedges. Ah, the leopard gun. It's like a gun, but if Louis Vuitton vomited all over it. I love the smell of roasted aliens. Oh boy. I love how it's like an alien rave party. And this one's like, I need to stop him very slowly. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you actually can die. We're not hosting an intergalactic kegger here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is fantastic. Citizens rescue. Okay. Whoa. All right. Yep. They're raising the roof. That's good. I love how all the humans are just chilling out inside of giant lemon lime vats of Kool-Aid. It's like some poor version of the abyss. <laughs> this is what brings me along the storyline. What is the king alien doing? Is he like vomiting out insults? All right, where's your alien king? I just killed everyone at his son's birthday party. How do you feel about that? All right, let's see here. No alien children, lucky you. Hey, real quick, how do you feel about being a single parent? What is this next gun? How come it's getting smaller? And don't tell me genetics. All right, I'm here to burn people alive unless they have a really good excuse. Those cupcakes look delicious. Hey, you, kid, with the two dominoes on your eyes. You human? Hey, where'd that, where'd that woman go? Oh, everyone in here was a human except for the, the eggplant delivery guy. <laughs> oh, I got some garden fresh eggplants over here. Yeah, I like my eggplants. Well done! <laughs> like nine times out of ten, whenever I go through a door, there's like, I, I, do I just have people over my house every single day? Also, is anyone gonna eat that? All right, there's two aliens present. Apparently aliens have an allergy to like ham and cheese sandwiches. This guy's over here, he's probably just like, you know, roasted alien smells a lot like applewood bacon. And she's like, oh, just act normal. Ah, oh, that's funny. He's talking about my people as if though they were a breakfast meat. All right, what else we got over here? Are these the same three cupcakes from yesterday? Like, they have, have they just been sitting there for the last 24 hours? I'm not gonna lie to you, with the way these mobile games work, sometimes I think I'm gonna go over to the microwave over here and see like a cat inside or something really messed up. Also, how can we have like full trees inside of the house? No one wears blue on blue, except for an alien. It's like Call of Duty, but like no one actually fights back. Wow! Man, it's like Thanksgiving dinner up in here! It is gonna be a murder fest! I feel really bad for this lady because like, if I even twitch slightly when I try and kill this dude, she's going to be the one to die. Alright, so we got this guy over here next to the Google Images fire. One girl over here, and I'm pretty sure this dude at the end. Now whenever I murder people, I love going from right to left. Alright, so murder number one. That was weird, the murder beam actually flew all the way off the screen. Murder number two, and murder number three. And now everyone has roasted alien giblets splashing on them like a cologne. Also, I really appreciate that this game does have a plant in every single room. One single alien out of the group, but none of them are- <laughs> I love how this alien got his wardrobe selection from like the Solid Snake series of Metal Gear Solid. I mean, it's it's better than a cardboard box, I guess. I do love, though, how his head is three times as wide as the top of the traffic cone. Can you imagine coming into your kitchen and there's like a nine-foot-tall traffic cone chilling out next to the butcher block? <laughs> I love how no one thinks anything of it. This lady's like, yeah, my husband just keeps buying weird stuff on Amazon. Well, I'm here from the Amazon returns department, and I hate to tell you, but your traffic cone is defective. Ooh, a new gun. Ooh, it's a laser gun. Was I, was I like in prison? Where they finally put me in alien prison for murdering like 30 of their people? You guys couldn't have done this earlier? I think what would be really funny is if the aliens had like all these different colored buttons and this one alien over here is colorblind. He's like, they couldn't just put numbers on them or something. Yeah! Yeah! I just love ray gunning everything, even if I miss aliens. Just the fact that it's a literal ray gun makes me so happy. Oh, it's finally the Alien King. That's right, watch as all your companions die in front of you. Did he just do like a ninja flip? Groin shot, groin shot on the King Alien. Come on, get back up. I got plenty more where that came from. Pathetic. Says the alien, you're going to have to do better than that. 
Did he did he actually use like a real ability this time or did he just walk swiftly out the exit? Man, aliens really do color code everything. <laughs> what is the traffic cone? <laughs> what is the traffic cone? Oh, because it took the traffic cone and then became and became the traffic cone. So the traffic cone's like a prisoner of war. <laughs> In the back alleys where death is a commonplace thing. Four people are waiting for the bus. The good part is, is that someone's not going to have to wait much longer. Oh, there's no one here that's an alien. Well, that's a problem. Uh, is someone going to get off that's an alien? Let's see, th this isn't an alien. Ah, see this? One guy got off at the bus stop. There's no place for him to run. He actually knows, he's like, well, I'm screwed. Guess I'll sit down and make myself comfortable for death. Yes, you will. Okay, this is one of the coolest looking guns. It's like Nerf, but mixed with a nightmare. I love aliens. Are you kidding me? Well, this is bad. <laughs> I'm like public enemy number one. I've been murdering them by the hundreds. All right, alien sympathizers. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there's actually even the cops in the back are potential aliens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, this one's not holding a sign. That makes me kind of annoyed. He's not really trying as hard for his people. I love how even the cops are like, don't shoot me. If you guys really had a problem with this, you would step in the way of this beam when I try and kill the alien. Anyone feel like doing it? This guy's like, no, but I will shake my fist at you very thoroughly. Yeah, well, your shirt looks like a McDonald's version of an octopus tentacle. Get wrecked. Kick down the door. Burgers. Do aliens like burgers? Well, these two do, I guess. What happens if I shoot the car? Oh, I can't shoot through the car? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's not as fun killing aliens if I can't cause some sort of collateral damage. All right, I got a joke for one of you guys. Where's your alien friends at? He's going to the bathroom. Is someone gonna come out of the bathroom? Oh, he went into the bathroom as a human and came out of the bathroom as an alien. I love it, those Dyson hand dryers just blew his skin right off. An alien walks into a ray gun and says, Oh, it's an even bigger ray gun. All right, my laser gun ingested 30 pounds of steroids and I'm here to wreck some people because of it. Where's everyone at? Oh, you like botany, do you? I can imagine this alien being like, not in front of the plants. Oh, we got heroes over here. I feel like it's it's like the aliens are having a bad dream. You know how when you're dreaming, you can only run it like one mile an hour? Like they're like, I'll save you. Oh no. <laughs> Remember, groin shots all around everyone. You can have the triple tap. And I'll shoot you as many times as it'll allow me to click. These poor plants are probably traumatized for all time now. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wish that I was rescuing another inanimate object, but I guess some citizens are fine. I just liberated all of City Hall. Woo! Well, all I learned was that the only way to deal with an alien invasion is murder. Hey, right, folks, I appreciate this episode of Find the Alien. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.